Hello, in the video coming up, we will look at how you can restrict access to your Chromebook. By default, with a Chromebook, anyone can essentially log into your Chromebook, which isn't really a problem because they'd need a Google account, so they're only logging into their own Google accounts, and they're only going to see their own information, so it's not a major issue. And there's also a guest browser, so you can browse as a guest. The only problem with a guest browser is they wouldn't be able to, anything they did within that session, they would have to save and put it somewhere outside of the Chromebook because it'd all be removed once they log out. So it's okay, people just wanna do simple browsing on your Chromebook, you can ask them to use the guest browser and that's fine. But you might be in a situation where you're in a household and say your, your, your kids or your partner, for whatever reason, keeps using your Chromebook with their Google account and you don't want them to. Um, so the only way you can do that is to restrict access on your Chromebook because by standard, like I says, if you've got a Google account, anyone can log into your Chromebook. So I'm going to show you now how you can do that. So from your desktop, just go down to the bottom right and click on the time there and then click on settings. And then from there, you want to go to privacy and security. And then from there, you've got here, manage other people. Now, I've already gone into this today, so it's letting me access it. When you just do what I've just done, it might ask you for your password because obviously you're looking at you know other people as well. So from here, um, we've got here, limit who can sign in. And as you can see, at the moment, it's not set. So anyone can sign in. So I will show you that now. So if we go down here, and go to sign out and here we are now in login screen now this is my user account here but as you can see down here we got browsers guest and we've got add person so we can disable that browsers guest if you want to and i'll show you how to do that so essentially anyone can log into your chromebook if they've got a google account and i'll show you that now so if you go to add person for personal use click next and this is someone else now logging in with their account and go next. And there you go, it's now asking them for the password. So if they enter their password, it will open up the Chromebook. They won't be able to see your details in your account because it's all linked to your own Google account. So it's no major issue. This is mainly for if you just want to stop other people using your Chromebook because you've told them to stop using your Chromebook. It's in the house and you know they're using your Chromebook because then they could be using up your storage and all of that sort of stuff. So there might not be a reason. There might be a reason why you don't want them to do it. Also, worst case scenario, if your Chromebook got stolen, for example, anyone they wouldn't be able to remove you because you'd be the owner but they could then log in with their account and providing you haven't used much storage they've got access to a chromebook that they've stolen so it's another good reason for doing it as well so as you can see it just lets anyone log in so what we'll do now if we go back out of this and i'll just log in here And there we are at the login page and just go down to the settings again. Click on settings, privacy and security and manage other people here. And as you can see where I said you've got that guest browser, you can turn that off. You've got here guest browsing. So you can click that and that will simply turn off that guest browsing. Um, and here we've got limit who can sign in. So if you tick that, you could just leave it as that so that's yourself should be yourself on there and that will mean that nobody else can log in to your chromebook or if you add someone who you did want to allow them to use your chromebook with their user account you just simply put in their details here so i'll do it quickly and then if you add that person that now means that I can log in to the account, which obviously I'm the owner, that won't ever change. And then this person here can also log in to the Chromebook. But because you click this restrict here, it means nobody else can. So for an example here, what we do is I remove that one. So this is saying now the only person who can log in is myself. And we've got that restrict 
um, selected there. So and I'll show you that that works. So if you go back down and I'll sign out. And then from here, again, as you, as you can see, we've got add person here, restricted it so nobody can log in other than this account here. Okay, so you've removed that option to log in. Or the other way you can do it is if you log back in. Like that. Go back to settings. Go to privacy and security. Manage other people. And we're going to leave it as that. But this time we're going to say there can be another user who can log in. And that user is this account here and then press add so now we're saying they can now if you go back to the login screen so from here as you can see that's my normal user and the add person is no longer grayed out but we have restricted who can log in so if you click on that like that and then go for personal use and click next the only person who can log in is that email address that we added. So if we try to do someone else who does not exist, for example, um, let me just, it will have to be a genuine email address. Let me just put in a genuine email address. And then go next. And it's taking its time. It's recognized that the account exists, but as you can see here, you are not authorized to use this device. Please contact the device owner for signing permission. So that's a really good way to stop people being able to access your Chromebook um, if you don't want them to. But like I says, it's no big deal. It's not that they're accessing your information. It's just that you're, you're wanting to stop them using your Chromebook for whatever reason. There can be so many different reasons why that could be the case. Okay, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.